This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone a SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone a SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Undeserved grace, unmerited grace, unearned grace. Yan ang ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon sa bawat misang ating pinupuntahan. Kung muli saan ibinibigay sa atin ang pagpapalang tayo walang karapatan. With grateful hearts, we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, of our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Hindi natin matatanggap ang kanyang ibinibigay hanggang hindi natin sabihin kailangan natin ang pagpapala, ang kapatawarang na isyang ating makamtan. Once again, we recognize our need to be forgiven. We ask for mercy and grace. Ah. on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting prayer and giving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on us and in this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Lord appears to Moses in the burning bush and reveals himself as the God of the patriarchs, the God who is not to be compared with other gods, the God who is faithful and merciful. The first reading. A reading from the book of Exodus. 
Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in fire flaming out of a bush. <clears throat> As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. He answered, Here I am. God said, Come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your fathers, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. But the Lord said, I, I have witnessed the affliction of my people in Egypt and have heard their cry of complaint against their slave drivers, so I know well what they are suffering. Therefore, I have come down to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptians and lead them out of the land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Moses said to God, But when I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, if they ask me, What is his name? What am I to tell them? God replied, I am who am. Then he added, This is what you shall tell the Israelites. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses. Thus shall you say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. Thus am I to be remembered through all generations. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Paul, who always focuses on the risen Christ, finds prefigurations in the signs and events of God's deliverance of Israel. That tragic things happen to Israel is a warning to Christians that God's interventions on their behalf must not remain fruitless. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And all of them were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from a spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was the Christ. Yet God was not pleased with most of them, for they were struck down in the desert. These things happened as examples for us, so that we might not desire evil things as they did. Do not grumble as some of them did, and suffer death by the destroyer. These things happened to them as an example, and they have been written down as a warning to us, upon whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, whoever thinks he is standing secure should take care not to fall. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Please stand to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. Jesus said to them in reply, Do not think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, There were greater sinners than all other Galileans. By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Are those 18 people who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, If you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. The one was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard. And when he came in, and when he came in search of fruit on it, but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none. So cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ang aming pong kongregasyon, the Society of St. Paul, ay nakakaramdam po ng matinding kalungkutan in these past few days, even as we have suffered the loss of a very good friend, a member, and a very dynamic young priest by the name of Father Servillano Sinoy III. Ang kanya pong palayaw ay nene, 
kasi ang tatay niyang vice mayor ng Lucena, Iloilo, New Lucena, Iloilo, ay nakaapat na anak na, puro lahat lalaki. Ay gusto na ng tatay na magkaroon ng babae, kaya kahit lalaki si Father Nene, si Father Nene, Nene na ang itinawag sa kanya. Pero alam niyo po, it is a personal loss because I recruited Father Nene who is very good looking, lalaking lalaki, <clears throat> not only that, but you know, he's a very powerful and dynamic speaker. He is loved, he was loved in the whole of Iloilo. Wherever he goes, he's a great teacher. Sayang nga lang, hindi niyo siya napakinggan. But Father Nene has shown so much love for the congregation and has been most active. He had a massive heart attack last Wednesday and immediately went into a coma. Bumigay ang katawan, bumigay ang liver, bumigay ang brain. Immediately he was brain dead and a few days ago succumbed to the uh, complete paralysis of ng kanyang katawan. Nalulungkot kami sabagat he was only 52. Di ba palagi kong sinasabi, you don't die naman at such a young age ka agad of heart attack. Yung mga 60, 70, yan yung mga yan. Pwede na yan. At kadalasan talagang itatanong mo kay Lord, Lord, totoo ba na ang una mong kinukuha ay ang mga mababait at mabubuti? Kaya nga naandito pa tayo. At habang tinitignan ko itong mga ito, palagi ko matatagalan pa itong mga ito. You know? But my dear friends today, you know, isang lesson lang, isang lesson. Father Dene, for this past few years, has been suffering. Alam nyo, tama ang sinasabi ng mga doktor, pakinggan nyo yung mga katawan nyo. Magsasalita yan eh. When he began to have blue fingers, when he had to have two, twice insulin in a day, when you are having difficulties breathing and the doctors told you that half of your heart is only functioning, when sobra kang tumaba ng todo, when you are unable to sleep that much well, hindi, na, 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 hindi ka na kinakausap ng katawan mo, sumisigaw na, pakinggan mo na. And to be slow in reacting when the body is shouting for radical treatment could be our mistake. Sometimes kasi denial tayo. No? Katulad yan, <clears throat> ako'y pumunta po ng uh, Hong Kong a few days ago. Nalibri po ako ng isang pamilya. Pagdating ko sa airport, inahanap ko yung aming papasukan, ay eh, pagpasok ko, eh, napakahaba ng pila. Sabi ko, saan po ba banda rito yung para sa ganitong flight? At ah, dito po sa, pero sir, doon po kayo sa kabila. Mas maigsi po ang pila roon, pang senior citizen po yun. Nainis ako, sabi ko. Kala ko ba naman hindi pa ako halata? Denial. You know. Tanggapin mo na talagang the body shows certain signs. It's too bad that Father Dene did not act radically on that request. May isa pa kaming pari, no? I'm praying for him, classmate ko. When he began bleeding, no? pinabayaan niya lang. So, na ngayon, ang tinignan namin, nagkaroon na siya ng buko, ng, ng barasa sa intestine. Third stage cancer na kaagad. When your body speaks to you, listen. Do not deny. Kasi hanggang sa ang isang tao, ganun din sa buhay spiritual. When a person denies the need of God, when a person says, kaya kong mag-isa, when a person begins to focus on his desire and not on God's will, when a person begins to live a life like parang wala, there are signs one way or another where God will speak to you. And sa kabila ng yaman mo, bakit parang hindi ako natutuwa? And sa kabila ng totoo, nasa akin ang lahat, bakit hindi ako makontento? And sa kabila ng totoo, ang taas-taas ng pwesto ko, parang bakit feeling ko nag-iisa ko hindi ako minaman? Signs, indications of a God who is inviting you na siya ay maging kaparte ng iyong buhay. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, to constantly deny our need of a God is one of the tragedies that can happen to us in our lives. You know, kaya tuwan-tuwa ako dito sa kwento na ito. No? Sa Vienna daw, sa Austria, meron po silang simbahan 
para po sa ruling royalty of Austria in Vienna. The Habsburg. Doon ang mga iyon ay inililibing. Pag dumadating na yung funeral para po sa namatay na member of the Royal Habsburg family, darating po yan sa pintuan ng simbahan na yon. At yun po'y matatagpuan nilang nakasara kasama ng ritual. And then what happens, one of the members will knock, kakatok sa pintuan. And then a guard will call out. Sasabihin doon sa bispong nasa loob, His Apostolic Majesty, the Emperor, is about to come in. Ang obispo sasagot sa kabala, I do not know him. Kung sa mga kabataan, who you? So, kakatok uli yung guard second time. And he would ask, Please open the door, sabi ng funeral guard, because the highest authority of the land, the emperor, is about to come in. Ang sagot pa rin ng obispo sa loob, I do not know him. And then a third time, the family would knock at the door and say, and the priest would say, And who is knocking at the door? Sasagot nung nasa labas. A poor sinner would like to come in. Sa kabubuksan ng pintuan. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, sa harapan ng Diyos, hanggang di natin inaamin na tayo mga makasalanan, there is no way for any one of us to truly bear fruit. Grabe kung paano si Lord mapagbigay. Gusto ng paputol. Yung, yung punong itinanim para magbunga, ngunit hindi pa rin nagbubunga. Until finally, he wanted it cut down. And then, the gardener says, pagbigyan mo naman. One year pa. At pag talagang hindi, o di bahala ka na. You know, the warning of the divine mercy devotion, sabi ni Lord, Faustina, tell them to now come in to the door of mercy. Because one day that door will be closed, yung pintuan ng habag will be closed. And the only door that will remain open is the door of justice. And before the justice of God, no one of us will ever survive. Bakit? Wala tayong pag-asa. Lahat tayo nagkasala. Kaya kanina sa umpisa ng ating misa, I spoke of three words describing the life that we live. Undeserved grace, unearned merit, an, an, an unmerited grace, unearned grace. Bakit? Because all we just have to do is, wala tayo. We cannot demand of God to even be merciful to us. We just have to simply say, makasalanan kami, humingi ng pawatawaran na muling mapagbigyan. You know, uh, there, there is a story that is told of a certain uh, guy. Hmm? Ang pangalan po niya ay hindi ko nakuha. Pero siya po ay nakapatay. Sa isang nabangled na sana naman ay robbery lang. Napatay po niya itong uh, policeman. He, is only, he was only 27 years old. Taga France po siya. At dahil nakapatay siya and it was a robbery, they decided that he will have to die. At alam mo ko naman kina, uh, nang pagpatay sa kanya, gulitin ha? Ika nga yung tsk, tsk, bagsakan ka ng ulo, tatalbog yung ulo mo ng ganun. No? You know? Pero ang kagandahan nitong si Jacques Fest, sa letter niya, during the time when he was inside, he began to convert. Nakita niya yung sama ng kanyang ginawa. Nakita niya yung buhay niyang pariwara. Nakita niya talagang siya na buhay na walang pakialam sa iba at walang pagmamal sa kapwa. And then, as he began to get converted, he began to realize what a life that only deserved punishment, but a life in the end that now is living the grace of God. Unmerited. Ito po yung kanyang sinulat. Babasahin ko na lamang po. Ang sabi niya, 
And the day that he was about to be executed, and everybody would say, you look at death and you realize you fear death. And that kind of a death where you pak putol ulo ka. He spoke of his death this way. This execution which frightens you is nothing compared to what awaits sinners in the next world. Ngayon nakita niyo na makasalanan ako. Ngunit dahil sa awa ng Diyos ang, nag, ang nakahanda, ang aking na, nag, ang, sa kabilay nag-aantay, sobrang dakila. It is not for me you should weep, but for sinners who offend God. Nakita niya yun. Pagdasal niyo, iyakan niyo yung mga hindi pa nagbabago. As for me, I am happy that Jesus is calling me to Himself. And great graces had been given me. If you could only taste for a single instant the sweetness of the transports of divine love, kung mararamdaman mo lamang yung aking naramdaman, na sa kabila na ako'y makasalanan, nakapatay ako, isang magnanakaw, kung paano ramdam ko ngayon, kung paano ko sobrang minahal. And you could realize the absolute gravity of the slightest, slightest offense you would be a happy person. Pag nakita mo na kung paano nakakasakit, nakakasira ang, ka- ang kasalanan, then you realize you have much to be grateful. God must come first. Do not forget it. He calls you and believes in you. You are rich in His love. Yun na lang pinanghawakan niya. Ako'y sobrang minahal. Many souls are linked with yours. And you will have an account to render. Grabe ito, ha? Many souls are linked to your soul. And one day you will have to stand before God to render an account. You must go to Christ without whom nothing, without whom you can do nothing. If you seek Him, you will find Him. But you must seek Him with all your heart. Above all, you must seek your own will. Not your own will, but His. This was a man dying. This was a man looking at the face of death. This was a man who suddenly realizes, wala akong pwedeng panghawakan, Lord, except habag at awa. But my greatest gift is, na ibigay sa akin ang lahat ng itong realization, that I need God in my life. Si Sister Faustina describes to us the sacrament of confession, because the whole Lenten season, ang sinisigaw ng simbahan, repent. Find your God again. Be converted to Him. There is no way na magbubunga ka hanggang hindi mo tinatanggap ang pangangailangan mo ng kapatawaran. To just put your trust in Him. Di ba sa divine mercy? The words that are placed down below this beautiful picture of mercy is just those. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Hindi sa sarili kong kakayanahan, kundi sa inyong habag at awa. Sister Faustina writes about the confession this day, this today. He says, sabi niya, the sacrament of reconciliation in confession, there is something beautiful that is happening there. For the greatest miracles take place and are insistently repeated sa loob ng confession. Ang mga tunay na milagro ay nangyayari. It suffices to come with faith. Yun lang, Lord, pupunta ko. Sapagat alam ko na dito sa loob ng confession, makakatanggap ako ng biyaya. With faith to the feet of my representative. Si Jesus to nagsasabi ha. Just come with faith before my representative. Makasalanan din yan. Baka mas makasalanan pa kaysa sa iyo. But the moment he sits on the confession, in the name of this God, he becomes the representative of Jesus. And to reveal to one who is also a sinner your own misery. For in that moment, the miracle of divine mercy will be fully demonstrated. My dear friends, para sa aming mga pare, our greatest, greatest burden is to hear confession. But our greatest, greatest joy is to see that person with a burden of sins coming to us and then leaving without those burdens. Nagpatuloy si Jesus, sabi niya, where a soul like a decaying corpse, so that from a human standpoint there would be no hope of restoration, 
bangkay yan, decaying pa na ipinapasok. And everything would already be lost. Wala nang pag-asa. It is not so with God. The miracle of divine mercy restores that soul to its fullest life. When you go to confession, know this, that I am myself waiting for you in the confessional. Grabe ito, no? Jesus is telling his disciples, niya, sabi mo sa kanila, na sa oras na sila'y pumunta, ako mismong nakaupo sa confessional na nag-aantay. I am only hidden by the priests, but I am myself acting in the soul. Here happens the miracle of one who is miserable who meets the God of mercy. Tell souls, Faustina, that from this font of mercy, souls can grow, can, can, drew, can draw grace solely from the vessel of trust. Yun na yun. If their trust is great, there is no limit to my generosity. Pakinggan niyo ulit, ha? If their trust is great, there is no limit to my generosity. My dear friends, today, the church cries out to the people of God, repent, be converted, bear fruit. It all begins with accepting our need of God. It all begins crying out to Him and say, we do not deserve. This is unmerited. And all we could do is to come to you in faith and to put our trust. Today, let's cry with the whole world, Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Amen. Please all rise. Together now we proclaim, I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, God the Father is patient and aware of all our weaknesses and miseries. Let us pray that He may help us bear the good fruits of conversion and renewal. As we pray, Lord of strength, hear your people. Lord of strength, hear your people. That the Church may always work for reforms within herself, aware that she is a community of people always in need of repentance. We pray, Lord of strength, hear your people, that instead of looking upon the miseries of others as punishment of God, we may open our hearts and hands to them, ready to share with them what we have. We Lord, pray, Lord, Lord of strength, strength hear your people, that the uncertainties of the times and the signs of life's fragility may draw us to the love and compassion of God. We pray, Lord of strength, Lord of strength hear your people, that the Holy Spirit may stir us to bear fruits of repentance, justice, and love, which the Lord expects from us. We pray, Lord of, Lord strength, of strength, hear your people, that the Lord may protect all those who travel today those who do delicate jobs, those who work for peace and order, and all those we love and care for, Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord, Lord of strength, strength, hear your people. We pray today for the repose of the soul of Father Servigliano, Nene Sinoy III. We pray for the birthday intentions of Angel Doble, Carina Valle, Tony, and Menchi Erinieta. The intentions of Boy and Susan Limhoko and, his fa and their family of Vicky Malakas, the healing of Jocelyn Ong, Abby de la Fuente, Laila Ricato, 
and our reincarnation and our reincarnation and family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of strength, hear your people. Father, hear our prayer and give us strength to be faithful to our Lenten observance of more intense prayer and of more willing service to our brothers and sisters as we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing as the gifts are being offered. Friends, at your sacrifice in mine, be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings, and grant that we who beseech pardon for our sins may take care to forgive our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Yeah. 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis of our Pope, with Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, your priest, Father Nene Servillano Sinoy, June III, whom you have called from this life and from this world as he called you, as you called him now to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamakita ni Kristo, kasama niya sa kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama na Espiritu Santo, magpasawalang hanggang. We are sinners. But the greatest news is God's forgiveness is greater than our sins. We have an ugly past, but God desires for us a wonderful, victorious future. We pray to the Father in heaven that in our lives His will be done as it is in heaven.
Give him us, O Lord, we pray from every evil and graces he grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed open the coming of our Savior Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. That our God's mercy and forgiveness is greater than the sins we commit, that should make us to the people of peace. We share the peace with one another. Peace be with you. siyang Diyos ng habag at awa. Ito siyang patuloy na sa ating nag-anyaya na sana'y magkaroon ng puwang sa ating mga puso para sa Kanya na siyang Panginoon ng lahat ng pagpapala. Happy are we who come to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Father and God of our Lord Jesus Christ. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us through this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
ating kardinal ang Archdiocese ng Maynila si Cardinal at Chito Tagle is asking na tayo maging bukas para sa ating mga less blessed na mga kababayan. There is going to be a second collection na gagawin para sa Alay Kappa program and for the relief and rehabilitation program po ng ating diocese at ng ating bayang Pilipinas. So, please be generous. Ang isa sa mga napakagandang nangyari sa bayang Pilipinas ay ang EDSA, kung saan nagkaroon po ng tunay na revolusyon na walang dugo na dumanak. And we believe God intervened. And the EDSA Shrine is a monument to say, if you ask God to come, He will come and He will help us. Kung kayo po'y may time at naglalakad kayo banda roon, Please, umakyat po kayo sa banda, ban, sa banda ng roof, banda ng mataas na portion sa labas ng Edsha Shrine. At doon po niyo makikita yung mga kataga na ating pong inawit kanina. If my people whom I call by my name will only humble themselves and pray, I will come, I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. Pangako po niyon. And we believe that that day, those words became a reality. If only we can humble ourselves, if only we can pray, if only we can confess our sins, magbubungang tunay itong bayang ito sa ating pagiging isang bayang Kristiyano. Let's pray that that day will happen when all of us will stand before God and declare, wala ko kaming pwedeng panghawakan doon. Only our faith and only our declaration that we trust in your mercy. This coming Wednesday po, dito sa ating chapel, si Ang Acts Prayer Catholic Community will have its healing mass at 7.15 in the evening. Kung nais po ninyong pumunta at tingin natin ang awa tabag ng Panginoon at ang kanyang kapangyari magbigay ng kagalingan, uh, join us in that mass which I will celebrate. Manalangin po tayo. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven, 
and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high. We humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember the words that Sister Faustina received to declare Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's a beautiful prayer of blessing. The blessing that Moses told was told by the Lord to bless the people of Israel. The erotic blessing. At pag daw ito'y ginamit, tunay na ang kanyang sapayanan is going to be blessed. Thank you.